the number one question that we get asked whenever people are typically are buying their first Rolex, mm -hmm. it, they narrow it down to these two. Either are affordable, sure. great entry level pieces for Rolex. I think we're speaking to the, the clientele of primarily men. You err on the side of the date sub. The 1266 on. And then I err on the side of the date chest, the 126334. Mm -hmm. We have the fluted bezel and it's a 41 millimeter. It's comparable to the 41 millimeter of, of the sub. Here's what I think the, uh, the Submariner, uh, whether it's date or no date, but preferably the dated sub, is really the best fit for someone who's trying to get uh, their first Rolex. Being a stainless steel sports model Rolex, you're gonna have the ruggedness. It's a very masculine watch. Mm -hmm. I think the black on black bezel, the dial is just strong, immediately recognizable. It's got that sporty look to it. Then also the functions. Now I know a lot of people are gonna actually take these things diving and go, you know, you know a thousand feet underneath, you know, but just the fact that you have that ability to engage with the watch, move the, the bezel, you know, adjust the date, more intriguing. If I were a first time Rolex buyer, okay. I, there's, there's, there's check boxes that I would want to get checked off that the Submariner doesn't do. If I have a collection because of the history, the heritage, has barely changed, it's hardly changed for decades. The Submariner. The Submariner. Yeah, yeah. If I'm gonna have a collection, my case? <laughs> if I'm gonna have a collection, if I'm gonna have a collection, you have to have that in there, I think. You've got to have it. I think it should be the first one. I Maybe, maybe. <laughs> but because they're both entry level pieces to Rolex, because they are both comparable in price. Give or take a thousand. Th there, there's a range, yeah. I mean, but you know, 12 to 15,000. I want a watch that is that I can comfortably wear with any outfit in any occasion, doesn't matter. If I'm going to an event and I have to wear a suit, the Samaritan works, it's fine, um, but- It might look like it's the only watch you own. Yeah, it would look like it's yeah. the only watch that you own. And so if you were to, which maybe not everyone cares about, but I think a lot of people do. I think that because you have the fluted bezel, number one, it's white gold. So you get a precious metal in that watch. I, I like that personally. Now, whether you have the Roman numeral dial or you could possibly have uh, just the stick, mm -hmm. there's white gold in there one way or another. So you, you have precious metal in various points of the watch. I think that is fantastic. I love that. I love that it has the center polish links. That makes it stand out. Um, it makes it look a little bit more high end. You could also wear that with a t-shirt. I think you could wear that every day. See, I would have concerns about wearing that every single day because it's got the high polished center links, the rounded case, you know, it's obviously high polished, mm -hmm. and then having precious metals on the bezel, that's a lot of surface area that's prone to scratches, surface True. scratches, hairline scratches, right. and especially for a first time wearer who's not used to having a $10,000, $12,000 watch on their Presumably. wrist all the time. Sure. I think that they're gonna they're gonna beat that down a lot faster than they would a more robust watch like the Submariner. I don't think that center polish links, it shouldn't drive people away from, from buying the watch. I think that it should be accepted. You should certainly take notice of that and just be careful when wearing the watch. I mean, you know, you, you are wearing a you know, 10 plus thousand dollar watch. You're gonna wanna take care of it naturally. I think if anything, that could be advantageous knowing that you have the center polish links knowing that you have to take a little bit greater care treat of it. Treat it accordingly. Yeah, and, and mm. honestly, I think that you should treat the Submariner accordingly as well, in my opinion. It is more robust. Uh, it's not going to be prone to scratches as often, um, which are natural, that's normal. You're gonna get hairlines, it's inevitable. There are some people, they like to wear that watch loose. They like to wear it doing anything. Totally fine, you wanna go fishing, wear that piece. Don't be afraid. If you don't be deep surprised. Deep sea fishing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't don't be surprised if it if it gets some dings and some scratches and I mean, some things that you're going to have worn. to fix. Yeah. So that's that's an inevitable thing unless you're going to keep it in a safe, keep it in its case, never bring it out. Bottom line, I think that because of the precious metals that come with it, you're going to have those those center polish links that dresses the watch up, and because of that versatility, I really think that you'll feel comfortable wearing it no matter what. You really can't go wrong with either one. I would just err on the side of, of the date just for those reasons. Versatility. It's, it's probably the strongest, you know, arguing point there. Yeah, I just think that like watches should be fun. They should be enjoyable. You should enjoy, you know, messing around with it, getting the date set, setting the time, moving the bezel, adjusting the, the glide lock. Literally an area that which the Submariner outshines the, uh, the date just is in the loom. Mm. The loom yeah. on the dial is one of the best, yeah. if not the best out there. Yeah. And it's so prominent. And anytime I go from being outside to walking inside or outside and getting in the car, it's like the, the lumen just is glowing. Yeah.
I, I'm, I'm in the camp of if you have a collection, you've got to have the sub. Sure. And, oh. and, and to me, date or no date, it doesn't really matter. I, I prefer a date. The no date looks cleaner, but I like it, it really date. doesn't. It really doesn't matter in my opinion. You just you have to have one or the other in your collection. Um, I, just I don't that. think you need to have a date just in your collection necessarily. Wait, if you're going to grow it, I don't think you need to have it in your collection if you're going to grow your collection. <laughs> okay. But I do think that if you're going to choose one or the other, you're going to be a lot happier and you're going to feel a lot more confident having that date just, I think. But I mean, hey, we, we give our opinions. I'm curious. What do you guys think? What would you prefer? Would you would you get the, the date just? Would you get the Submariner? Did you have something in mind before? Did either one of us change your mind? Let us know in the comment section down below. Yeah, we'll let the we'll let the people decide. I'm looking forward to it. So am I. Because you because you Because think, they're gonna choose this up. You think they're all gonna choose this up. I I'm pretty confident. I don't know. Maybe I'm being bold with the date just, but it's just my opinion. And opinions are opinions. It's like and you butts. have every right to be wrong. Everybody, <laughs> everybody has one. Now I gotta go get this sub to Christian because somebody just called in to ask about it. So. Probably not the first. <laughs>